Um, so the ice dunes, they form with wave action. As the waves start freezing up, um, ice chunks form, then they kind of get pushed into shore and pushed into shore. Um, slabs of ice will form and then get pushed into shore and just kind of builds up these mounds. Uh, we then had a thaw, unfortunately, before this interview, which kind of melted most of the ice dunes, pushed the ice sheet back out into Lake Erie, um, and then when it came back, the ice sheet, which we, we'll see now, it didn't have enough wave action to kind of rebuild up the dunes. Having another thaw for a few days, and the lake's going to be cold, so if we have another few days of a thaw and a lot of the ice melts, and then we freeze back up, we still have to get through half of January and February. Um, there's a lot of time to still form potential dunes. We don't, if we do walk on them, we don't go very far out. We don't go over the dunes and beyond. We kind of walk on the shore side of the dunes, knowing that the water's pretty shallow out here, so you're not going to, if you do fall through a hole, you're not going to go real deep. Um, and you kind of watch for cracks in the ice and all that, um, or, or holes that are forming or thin spots where you could fall through. Uh, but for the most part, it's kind of, kind of like any time you're on the ice, it's, it's iffy. And, and you should really be doing it with someone more experienced on the ice. These dunes, they come and they go. Um, we may or may not um, get any better than this from here on out, or we might get better dunes. It really is going to depend on the lake.